50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing. All week we have been taking a look at the contributions of Atlantans to the mission. Jennifer Bellamy introducing us to photographer Chuck Rogers. It looked like a Monet painting. After jumping off the press truck at the end of the 1978 Peachtree Road Race, Chuck Rogers snapped one of the most iconic photos ever taken of the race. Has been extremely successful. 800 billboards uh, with that image in France alone. But this week, Rogers is thinking about a time long before then, 1957, when he took a job working for RCA at Cape Canaveral. Rogers still remembers his first meeting 62 years ago. When Dr. Von Braun told us in a meeting that we were going to the moon, uh, everybody thought, what is this guy smoking? Chuck would embark on a 12-year journey photographing the very beginning of our nation's space program. And because the press wasn't allowed on Cape Canaveral at the beginning, he would shoot the launches and release them through RCA. Sometimes I would work uh, 17, 18 hours in a day before I was actually released to uh, go home. It quickly became a job of a lifetime for Chuck, shooting some of NASA's most iconic photographs. So the Air Force was approached by AP saying, we think Chuck Rogers is the most published photographer in the world. And we, we want to do a feature him in a story. And the Air Force said, we would like to do that. And Chuck got to know Alan Shepard and the other original seven astronauts, even socializing with them after work at a Cocoa Beach toy slot car track. And uh, it was a lot of fun. They are timing the laps with their big astronaut watches. And Fun aside, the work could also be a bit scary. He photographed launches from only 3,500 feet away. You can get almost blown off your feet from the thrust from the rocket when it takes off. And he hung off the top of the VAB building to take the first picture of a Saturn V rocket rollout. So I crawled the last 15 feet, hung my elbows over, and waited for the rocket to come out and almost died of fright. <laughs> With more than a half a century past now, Chuck looks back at his career with a viewpoint few of us will ever have, completely satisfying. To have your work published is the greatest thing that can happen to a photographer or an artist. And my work was maybe the most published in the world. So it, it was extremely gratifying and, uh, and fun.